All right, y'all, you know what it is. Welcome back to Kicking with Kilo and Q. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Q shades over here. That oh, was the you wanted to do. For sure, I'm Q shades today, peeps. What up? You know what it is. Hope you guys had a, a proper Easter weekend last weekend, you know? We are out. Made sure you guys, you know, had a little break, but we're back. Happy birthday to my mama. It was her 60th birthday last week. Happy birthday, mama. Love no shout out. Happy mama. birthday, mama. Mama! <laughs> so, you know, we have to come back right in time for, you know, the second round of the playoffs. Just to start, you know, got to see some good things so far. Matchups are finally set. So, oh, finally get sure. you know, the Nuggets beat the Spurs, so we'll, we'll get to see some good matchups. And, um... Before we even talk about the matchups, I just gotta talk about how one of the matchups has everybody hating on a player. <laughs> For good so, reason. It's good reason, but everyone's hating, dog. Like, it, they're not hating. Okay, just say, it. just drop it. Just drop so it. obviously, Dame Leonard and the Portland Trailblazers, you know, gave the um, OKC Thunder that work cause. Just destroyed them. Kill that. And Dame was giving Bruh. that work to Russ. Russ was just struggling the whole series. Just struggling, Bro, struggling, struggling. the reason why the hate is well-deserved is solely because of who Westbrook is and how much he talks, how he carries himself. Dame Leonard is one of the most humble players in the NBA. For you to talk shit and tie a taunt this nigga, is that the first time either, you know? So yeah, he said before, he's I've been chewing him up the whole, yeah. his whole career and stuff. So that's why it's like, yo, boy, you, and, and plus, man, I already know that Russell's style of play is kind of toxic, you know? It's either really good or really bad, so. Yeah. He already has haters. This is his fuel to the fire, you know? So, okay, so here's the thing. Like, he, some of it's deserved because it is warranted. Like, he takes stupid shots. His shot selection is ridiculous. Horrible. Like, it is ridiculous. So, I understand all that. And... I just feel like you're piling on it like the team is that great. The coach is, the coaching is just shit in OKC. It's been like that. It's a coaching which just goes off of the talent that they have all the time because... Yeah, they don't really play team ball. That's a problem. Like, they, they never really play team ball in OKC. You know what I'm saying? And the one reason why I knew they were going to lose is that they both had to play both, like, um, PG and Westbrook had to play both sides of the ball to win that series. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? PG had to guard CJ... I know people want to give the excuse that, you know, the PG being uh, injured and everything. I'm going to give the excuse because he was hurt. You can see, but come on. Uh, people do have to, like, what I'm saying everyone's giving Russ the blame is because PG did he not miss two free throws in the clutch? He did, but the man played the hell of a game. He, he played, played a good he, series. You know, he played a way better game than Russ. He played a that. good series. He was solid every game. Yeah, but yo, if you nickname yourself Playoff P and you keep falling short as well, you deserve just as much blame as the but other guy. He, he's, a, he's a modern day team man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, word, yo. yo he's Has he got past the first round? round? Yeah, earlier in his career. You remember when Hibbert and them? Oh, Hibbert yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Granger? Yeah, when, when he's. Was Granger? Yeah, Granger's on our team oh, too. Like, he, it's when he oh, took the reins. Yeah, yeah that's when he took the reins. Yeah, that's when he faced LeBron. Yup, the two times. Yo, I see the funniest commercial with that shit, eh? What do you mean? You know how this Paul George commercial everybody was trolling him with after the game when they were hit the shot to see it? Oh, which the game one? The Gatorade one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's like he comes down and it's like it's like it's like a snap back between him playing in a like in a real court and a real game. Yeah. And then him like in the gym by himself. And then the man ends up like like, like he blocks his guy, gets the ball, hits the game with it, and game over, right? So what they end up doing? <laughs> they end up showing one where like, yo, the man comes down, he blocks the ball, mm. he, co he comes back up. Bro, no, my bad. First, they show the the the, the first clip is of LeBron James mm. when him and LeBron face it. LeBron comes down, ice is a man, boom, hits a three. They go up 100, 102, um, right? They're like, oh, the um, thing has the lead now. Last yeah. shot for thing. Paul George comes up and they show the commercial like, Paul George in the gym by himself dribbling up. He goes up in the commercial, shoots the ball like this. They like zoom in on his form and everything, you know. And then they clip it to the real life one against against Cleveland. Mm. Bro, the man shot the ball. Mm. And now here's the commentator. He misses everything. Bro, the man hit the next side of the match. He misses this. Every, but that's what I said. In the clutch, Paul George is not clutch. So that's what holds them back. But even on this, uh, okay. Because my whole point was on Russ. This is my fear for Russ. And why I said he, you know, he does need to change and like take it serious so that his shot selection is trash. Because mm. his shot selection is trash. Is um, 
He's about to get Melo out of the league, and Melo got Iverson out of the league. And no. it's about to like as soon as Russ is at like as soon as his contract's up, no. and his athleticism's done, they're bro. That man the triple kick. double machine right now, fam. Right now, he has surgery on his knee every off season, the last four off seasons. If you notice this year, and Russell Westbrook fresh. wasn't dunking as much this year. True. He he was slowing down. Even but he's the picking up assists. He's picking and up. He's picking up triple doubles though without him jumping more. Right now, but then also look at this. How do you go from eighty five percent free throw shooter to sixty seven percent free throws? Lack of focus. Your three point percentage plummeted so much, and I think it's because your legs are starting to give out. Lack of focus, man. You don't think Russ is focused? Nah. That that's his biggest problem. He's fucking out there doing dumb shit, not being focused. Nah, he's focused. He's he just, just, he just, he just He gets too in the moment, bro. He's like, say Patrick Beverly. too intense, yeah. Say Patrick Beverly, you know, they just get fucking amped. Patrick Beverly's know. the best on-ball defender I've seen since Tony Allen. That's true, that's true. But we'll give it like this. Fuck it, let's go back into it where it needs to be. Portland versus Denver. Who do you think is going to take that? I think Portland, obviously. I'm gonna roll Portland. You're but right, if Enos Cantor is out. <sighs> no, I think Cantor's there. Without Cantor, they lose for sure, for sure, for sure. Because Myers Leonard guarding Jokic? Jokic regardless is going for buckets even on Cantor. But it's just gonna be too tough for um like Jamal Murray to stay with Dame and you know what I'm saying? Mm. Whoever else they have in the back over there. And CJ. I think they stay with those guys, bro. So yeah, they're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. I have poor input. Golden State, Houston. Who you think? Because we just got it. It's, it's playing today, but we're and not. So, by the time it comes out, game one will be done. Supposedly, as supposedly, freaking um, Clay's, Clay's hurt. Yeah, you know? Clay, Clay's hurt. Steph Curry's hurt. But I think, I think, okay, um, Houston's gonna win tonight, but Jesus gonna win the series in six. In six? Ooh. Yeah, it's going, it's going for a while. Okay, yeah, I think, I think, Golden State's gonna win the series as well, but I think it, it may go seven. Seven? I, I hope so. Too. Go seven. I hope so. And your East. East. Well, <laughs> I just seen the Celtics put a whooping on Milwaukee. Yeah, they, so it they, they did the I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. I said originally the Bucks will beat them in six. Uh right now I'm feeling like the Celtics are gonna sweep that. Twenty one game, man. Twenty one game. I know, but man, they made Giannis look kind of Nah, he's a, you don't think he's gonna come back? I think he will. I think he's dropping forty next game. I still think the Bucks are gonna beat them still, but since about seven games, the Bucks are gonna win. Yeah. And they're gonna come through and face the Raptors. Okay. We're gonna win. We're gonna beat the food. Speaking of the Raptors, we have the question for the people. Well, the of season. course, I have a question. I've been asking everybody this question lately. Mm-hmm. So Slap Kawhi, up the Sixers, by the way. <laughs> so, of course. So Kawhi Leonard is a very talented basketball player. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to take anything away from him at all. But the question that I pose is this: Before I even put my opinion on it, who do you guys think? He's well, he's well. Mm. You think it's a smoother peer scorer? Siakam or Kawhi Leonard? I mean, this should be already said, right? Siakam, because his polish is just ridiculous for such a young... <laughs> Bro, his polish is ridiculous. He shouldn't be making half the shots this guy makes. And not only does he make it, he's swishing up. Like, <laughs> man. his floaters, his turnaround floater, like, it doesn't really make sense when he's doing it all the time. I'm sorry, I gotta go with, um, Kawhi, because Kawhi's jump shot, and his three-point, and he's dunking. I'm not taking nothing against uh, away from Siakam. Siakam. I just think Siakam's more efficient. Himself. That's what I think. Like, Kawhi shoots a lot, but... He's efficient. Like, Kawhi, um, Siakam's efficient, but he, he throws up bricks just like anybody else. But, but Kawhi Leonard, when he throws up a brick, it's like you know the brick, it, it just wasn't a good shot. But the majority of his shots are on the money shots. He brings them low, right though. to the net, and then fucking. Siakam's up. How many times is 50 plus as a percent right now? With Siakam? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you. Is that us? No. My, my thing, my thing with. with See, um, Siakam and Kawhi is this when it comes to scoring. Hmm. As a basketball player, I was always taught that the best scorers get the job done with the least amount of dribbles. You know what I'm saying? You go look at Jordan. You go look at Kobe. You go look at KD. You guys are not taking six, seven dribbles every possession to get a bucket, you know? Hmm. How, like, like, don't get it twisted. Like, Kawhi scores. And his moves, you know, like, he gets to his spot. So that's why he's efficient. 
But at the same time, Kawhi needs sometimes he needs seven, eight dribbles to get to a spot. Mm. Five, six dribbles just to get to a spot. And then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, I, so I gotta sorry, I gotta jump in because we've gotta um interact with some of the the people speaking here. So Gon Phillip says Quinn Star, you gone too far. <laughs> so, Kawhi uh FTF real one sa- says Kawhi is making contested jumpers all night. Um, oh for sure, don't get it twisted. Kawhi's uh, shot is well, guys, it's what? Yo, don't get it twisted. I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to say Kawhi can't score, guys. I'm not trying to say he can't score. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying about Kawhi is that the offense is geared for him to score. So obviously, if the man can take six, seven, eight dribbles and dribble down the whole clock like how Harden's doing, bro, you're gonna get your points. You know what I'm saying? He's scoring tough shots. He t- he he does the thing. Yeah. But you like, see, I can get the ball, sweep, one two dribble, boom, bat down, post up, pump fake up and under, ball. Yeah, move. that's why some of the Siakam's ones, they're just like they're always in a position where it's like you're looking and another player is missing those. Exactly. But he's just a little floater in, take you down right away. One dribble, two dribble. I'm either gonna turn around floater or I'm going right to the rim. That's Siakam's move, but it always works. I don't understand. It's just efficient. So, so God, God Phillip, we'll wrap this up soon, but God Phillip said, Siakam is awkward like Andrea, but scores, laugh out loud. And then he said, not even a question, efficient, efficient, my nigga. So I think he's talking about Kawhi. I think we got more votes for Kawhi. I know, I know. Yeah. We got more right. votes, but Kawhi's not efficient. Stop that. He's yeah. efficient, but yo, we've you don't seen bare 10 for 26. more efficient than Siakam. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah. We've seen, ben, we've seen 10 for 26. We've seen 10 for 26. We've seen 10 for 26. We've seen 10 for 26 shots. So like in, this year, I've seen Kawhi shoot 28 shots, score 28 points, yeah. and only hit 11 shots or 9 shots. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, and Siakam's out there shooting 8 for 15. Like, yeah, like, not even 8 for 15. Like, yeah, 8 for 15. It's 12 for 15. Nine for eleven. You're like, what the see, fuck, Siakam? Yo, I need to pull up their season stats. Their season stats. But however, I will say this: Siakam, most of his shots though are like inside, and he's dunking and shit like so. Yeah, yeah, fast. He's more yeah, of a slasher. Kawhi is just shooting over Kawhi, people. Yeah, so, Kawhi is yeah, actually yeah. like posting mad mans up and like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, that's what I'm saying. He's a, yo, Kawhi is a better scorer. I'm saying who's smoother. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He's not better. Hey, yo, you're, you're wilding about Andre Bargnani. He stop <laughs> this. He's not that awkward, fam. Come on. You're wilding. <laughs> you got me too far, Clay. Sorry. Yo, speaking of the Raptors, get one thing before we move off of it. Y'all see, I'm not gonna lie, the jacket was hard. The jacket was hard. But yo, Drake's cripping now? I didn't know Drake was doing it for the dead notes. Okay. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo. I'm really trying to, yo. <laughs> I don't understand this, man. Like, he just got paid on the show for call it, they're calling him a culture vulture and he laughed about it like, yo, why? Like, I'm like, how could I be? Hold on, what show is this? It was like a, um... A UK show that you Yeah. Oh, they asked, they said Drake's a culture vulture. He, wanted said, to how just, he, was, he was in some club and he's like, like singing some man song or whatever the case mm. is, right? Yeah, and this guy named Wise, who's like a whole G in the UK grime scene, said that Drake is like a culture vulture to the UK scene. Yeah, like he jumps in and out when he wants and shit, you know? Your man goes split, split, splat. The girl didn't did do that. Oh yeah, you say it. Well yeah, dog. I think I, I don't know, man. I, that that to me he's a chameleon. That to me he's a chameleon. real crip niggas know. Like yo, when you put on the blue, you put on the blue for a reason. You know mm. what I'm saying? You don't wear that shit for no fashion statement. You're not wearing that to look cute and look good when you go out. Mm. You put that on because that's what you love. You bang your heart's in that shit. Mm. Your man's are in that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I see like Drake doing that to me. That for, I'm not even I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the hardest gang banger in the world, fam. But I know the culture and I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm I'm a G nigga myself. So mm. at the end of the day, there's certain stages I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna step on that. Mm. Especially if I'm not a G. Like, come on, fam. You could have worn like something with a little blue, little like blue bandana. You know, I feel like if it was accent, yo, like, but it was kind of, it was kind of. I, I feel like it was blue and gold. It did look kind of goldish. I don't know Bro, if it was it's white. A blue bandana. Know, it wasn't blue. Either jacket blue, or blue, 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 blue. yeah. The jacket was hard, but he shouldn't. Have Can't do that, man. You yeah, can't do that though. But God Phillips is like Drake, and then FTF underscore real one says Drake. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know you see Drake. 
Yo, but Four. yeah, we're gonna be off the off the playoffs. You know, we're gonna see what's going in. Get away from that. Talk about you know some of the stuff happening in the entertainment. Some well, actually in the NFL, real quick, because this is a, a wider stance. Facts. But um, it's 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 more serious. And let's talk about. Okay, so you guys probably seen Joe Budden's reaction to the New York Giants draft selection in the NFL draft. How flabbergasted he was. He was upset. Everyone's upset. Very people are like, who the fuck is this guy? This guy's trash. He, at, yo, bro, he's a quarterback. Averages 156 yards a game in college. Bro, you know how trash? <laughs> you know how trash that is sounds dookie, yo. Yo, so how do you get? Yo, so what did they the draft? Guy, him, what did they the draft him based on? The general, the general manager said, after watching three series of him play, three series by the way, of him play. I knew that was an NFL quarterback. Meanwhile, he watched the other guy, Dwayne Haskins, from Ohio State, black guy by the way, in a, in a bowl game, and him ball. In a bowl game. The man said that the three series, the three things that he's seen him, he thinks he's better? I guess so. Mind you, the other guy threw 16 touchdowns, nine interceptions, and Dwayne Haskins threw 50 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Holy shit. But whatever. The point is, when you see that, what was, as a Raptor fan, or if you're a Leaf fan, you know, or Calgary Flames, whatever team you root for, what was, like, the most, like, devastating, worst moment for you when the Raptors or your team made a draft choice? Oh, my God. This guy brought me back there. <laughs> I know what it was for me. Mine was Andrea Barnyard. And only because the entire I, time, I agree. The entire time, I thought we were drafting Marcus Aldridge. But hold That's on, why. With hold Andre, everybody, everybody, hold your thought. We just want to give a shout out to Cooks. Nah. Give a shout out to Cooks real quick. You know what I mean? Nah, 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 shout nah. out to Mandem. Ah ah ah! Let's nah. go. <laughs> Don't know. All right, so good. You know, which year is yo, Mine has to be. Yo, this is the worst. This has to be the worst draft pick of all time. Only fucking nobody tells me. Rafael Rujo. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, have, bro. Yeah, the one that said that to Rafael Rujo. Yo, bro. Yo. That was dead. If you guys have time right now, go on YouTube and type in Rafael Rujo college highlights. Yo, fam, the whole highlight tape is the man grabbing the offensive rebounds and put, doing put back layups. Like, like a backup center at the Y. Are you dumb? <laughs> no, I can't believe we drafted this nigga, fam. Yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, that was a horrible draft pick. Yo, that half a yellow It wasn't that the same draft class as Igudala? Was it Rudy Gay that one? Uh, I swear Igudala. No, no, Rudy, no, 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 Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Gay was the same year as Barnyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, that oh was... I don't know, I don't know who else was in there. Fuck, I, I tried, I'm trying, I'm trying I tried to think... I tried to make that year on my mind, fam. Are you crazy? Obviously, 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 Bruno was up there because I was like, why the fuck are the Raptors doing this? But it wasn't that serious. Because it wasn't the number one or number four pick or number seven pick, whatever Rafael was. I'm sorry, I, dis I disagree with the Joey Graham. We have Joey Graham as one. I disagree. When Graham was there with DeRozan, I think Graham is doing all right. Yo, Graham played at least one solid season for us. At yeah. least one he played for us still. I like Joey Graham. We're talking about Rafael Rujo, dog. Who said that? There's nobody that can be worse than Rafael <laughs> Rujo. Are you saying who said that? God Phillips. Yo, yo, me, Rafael Rujo? Hopping a Russo? Yo, dog. Yo, you guys killed me. You guys are crazy, bro. Alright, I'm a, all right, like, The man I'm couldn't even go get a, a, a professional team back in, in Brazil after it. You fuck? Yo, oh my god. Yeah, he's trash dude. He's still, he's that was crazy picks, though. Man, sorry, who's that guy? No, Kara. That was the, one of the worst Ooh, picks. Baby? No, 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 don't miss baby. No, baby was solid. I hate no, 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 no Kara, G. Bro, he's sorry. fucking beer shots. That dude, no, I don't, I don't like no Kara. I didn't like his nah. hair. I didn't like his hair. Like, nah, you mean Bruno? He's like, nah, no Kara. Yo, no, dog, baby was solid. You would have got a next contract and thing after. Who's no Kara play for? He went to go to Orlando? No, Gera? Are you talking Bruno. about the weekend here with the tattoos on his face? He, ju he just got out of the league. I think he went to Detroit. I don't know, but I know he's out of the league this year. This year, no, he just ain't playing on no team. This dude. right now, yeah, his right first now he's left. left. But when he left the Raptors, he got a next contract. Oh. I think so. He was too. solid at that time, fam. He Yo, was, I, wish, was, I wish I wish Adam was on this right now because Adam would back me up. So that's, that's our nigga, though. Baby, 
Baby had some moments. Yeah, I know. Baby was balling, so you're hating stuff. But whatever. It's all good. Remember, it was Baby and then Bismack, and then we got Ibaka. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That oh, he, uh, Cooks is like, uh, no, he's like, nah, nah, Noguero is better than Bargnani. Yeah, and facts. better than Greg Monroe. I agree, but still, no. man, I didn't like. He's not better than Greg Monroe. Nah, Monroe, I'm sorry. Monroe's no. the most garbage pickup we got. <laughs> I'm sorry. That nigga was like, yo, just the sight of him gets me angry, bro. Like, he's like one of those guys I just want to, like, just tap up, like, talk to him like an uncle. Be like, yo, you're so whatless, dog. Like, you're so big up and you can't do nothing, dog. Like, yo, this guy pissed me off, man. Oh, man. Yeah, so man. now I can't say who, who uh, Greg Miro reminds me of because now it's going to be sound like a this thing. So now I got to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you going to know. You know who it is. <laughs> you know who you are, man. Because now I can't say that. We're going to go into NFL shit. This is kind of more serious. Yeah, you guys heard about this Tyreek Hill, um, the Chiefs receiver. This, like, story about how, like, he... Broke no, his kid's arm and like that should come hear audio up. tape of him like telling this kid to open his arm so he could punch him in the chest. This kid's three years old. First of all, that's uncondonable at any age, really, unless your kid's like seventeen. No, I just think that like yo, at the end of the day, bro, like I, don't get twisted. So for some reasons, yeah, your kid kids do need to be beat. Because but like, like, yeah, those understand. are abuse. Do like, like yeah, that's doing abuse. stuff like to that extent, knowing and how strong you are to the kid, a punch. Come on, fam. Cause Cause that's what I was gonna say. Yo, what's people, yo, what's, when what's I was, every fan them stance on spanking? Yo, when the I was, spanking I feel is way <laughs> different than yo. When I was ten, when I was ten, ten eleven years old, bro, my dad could drape me up and shake me up and swing me, and yo, that scared the shit out of me just as bad as getting beat. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to be a three year old kid to that extent, you know? bro. All you listen. Then you bring like his arm. His arm. Baby, all you really gotta do is like slap me. Yeah. There's no evidence right now, but that is the report. But there's no evidence that they have to allow it. But Children's Services is looking into it. It's just too much, man. Bear fuckery, dog. Bear fuckery. So like, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't. I think that like yo, spanking is 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 needed at a young age, yo. Yeah, like I you're, could, and I, when I you're learned, doing I something learned. that if you're doing something that kid that a kid will do, you don't deserve to get spanked. Cause you're just your kid, just like kind you're of learning. Yeah, you're learning. But when you actually know something that you're not supposed to do. And you still do it. Like if I tell you, don't steal something, and then you steal, you deserve to get a one, two, little laugh. And not even a spike. Sometimes you could just do this or ring a kid's you, ear. You could pinch a kid, well, you know give what? a quick slap on the hand, a drape, a drape up, and be like, yo, listen. Face, yeah. When you think, yo, you, quick, know, you, you know, know my mom always say, my mom's like, yo, if, if we do things that she told us to not, like she really told, spoke to us about, about ex- or yes. if we did, if we're doing something that that could hurt ourselves. Tell us. You know what I'm saying? Like those are good reasons to beat your kids when you're young. But I always tell people, Michael, listen, like beating your kids is is is, is a very delicate thing because at a certain age, when you beat your kids, you not put your kid in a state to now like fear you. When you when they fear you, they now like move different. You know different, what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not gonna tell you not shit. The they're gonna be sneaky. They're gonna go behind your back. They're still gonna do what the fuck they want to do with the kid, but they're just not gonna show you now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like beating your kids only is, is it's it's only useful to a certain extent, like to a certain age. When your kid's able to like understand and, and, and know why you're beating them, you know what I'm saying? And then mm-hmm. once it gets to that level, now you start to school them in mental shit. Yep, and now you gotta, yeah, like really and truly, you could do other shit because nowadays, when you, I'll say it like this I used to, like, you know, my pops used to beat me. My mom, not so much. And my mom figured out how to get to me, was yeah. the other shit. I would not try to get my mom to beat me because those beams wasn't hurting once you're like 15. Yeah, you're like soft team. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, baby, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Nah. She's out there like, yo, you're not watching no NBA, no NFL, eh? For, like, next month. And I'm like, what? My mom used to eat upstairs. Nope. That whole entire time, she eating downstairs every night, making sure I don't watch nothing. And imagine, you're looking forward to watching the Raptors and shit, cat watching. Oh, I'm like, I, I got to figure out a new way to get away with what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that, that was my like, mom, too. My mom, my mom took away two things from me. Video games? Yeah, vi- yeah. You come home and the controller and the cords are gone. Yeah. You're like, Yo, you're trying to ah, find you're it. You're trying to look through her whole, yeah. whole thing. She brought it to work because she knew last week. You know week that, yo? You're trying to find it. You're like, yo, what the f- She knows oh, last week you looked through her, her drawer and caught it. Trust me. Or my mom used to take um, sports from me. Like, say if I had like a practice or a game, she'd be like, yo, you can go, but you can't play. You can sit yeah, outside and watch. Yo, my mom, yo, there was a time my mom made me go to a, a game, bro, in a tournament, dog. This is the worst, one of the worst days of my life as a kid, bro. And she made me do homework. 
<laughs> bro, I'm dressed up in my, but yo, yo, you're worse she made me dress. So I'm dressed up in my warm up gear. And that year we had sick warm gear, like a long sleeve with a little hoodie thing and pants. Mm. And I'm on the sideline fucking doing homework watching the game, bro. Holy oh, fuck, I felt like the biggest waste you ever found. I said, yo, come do a layup. So I'm like, nah, you know, I can't hurt. That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's sick, yo. That's that's. Mom that's got me still. Those are, you see, those are the things I would want to do. And like, where when I used to watch stuff like uh, the punishments that would happen on like, Fresh Pains and like Cosmo Show, shit like that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm a T.O. If I can think he could move out on his own, I'm going to do that Monopoly shit. Shit, my kid. Shit, shit like that, yo. At least I hope. We'll see. Uh, shit. Uh, I'll never forget one time this kid, uh, this kid I went to school with told me that like, whenever he did something bad, mm. <laughs> yo, the man's mom used to lock him in the bathroom and pretend like it was a jail cell. <clears throat> so rather stay in the bathroom for like, yo, you're in there for two days, you know. Mm. So the man's legitly living in the bathroom. Yo, people are coming in the shit. He used to go into the tub and sit. Ah! <laughs> the bathroom to sell the toilet, like. Real life shit, dog. Nah. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that'll, that'll make me fix up. Nah, when I heard that shit, I'm like, yo, like, that's the most savage all. shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, your mom locks you up, bro? Like, yo, dog. This guy would be like, yo, your guard. <laughs> like, nah, you know what you go knock at a man's house as a kid, you go ride your bike to his house. Hey. It, it, you know, mm. it, 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 it's Japan. Yeah, kids nowadays, you guys don't know. Yeah, kids, kids nowadays, you guys have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. Just, you know, skip this, skip a couple minutes, skip like a minute or so. Fucking, you're like, is Javon there? Look at you like, Javon can't come out right now. Uh, 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 can he come? Boom! You, you know, you just start that narration trying to ask him, yo, when can he come back out? Is the next brother there? Nothing. Yep. Boom! You see that door slam? Like, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. Let me get, he's in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you guys an update. It's 94 91 Warriors with 340 left in the game. Is yours okay. Clay playing? That's the question, folks. Is Clay playing? We'll get an answer back soon. Yes, better let me know. Don't just be saying one, two, thing. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, big fact. So, um, yeah, fuck. I already got nothing else for today. You got anything else you want to tell people about Q's Baker or something or some stupid shit? Nah, man, I'm good, bro. I've been listening to Money Man, Money Man, Trauma Man, Trauma Man. That's it. Well, he's already doing his thing, so I don't think he needs to be on Q's pick right now. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, the, the Toronto rap, oh, Toronto was... rap is stinky poo poo. <laughs> it's like you know what I'm saying. Like holy smokes, I'm trying to take in a song oh, about chromas. <laughs> Yo, who said that? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> are you stupid or you're dumb? Uh, I didn't even buy, yo, 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 girl. yo, yo, she I didn't, set, though. yo, I didn't even buy that, yo, chill, 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 Fast one video and then using it because everybody knows I did it. <laughs> Stupid shit. <laughs> Been on parole since '94 because I commit the crime. You know what I'm saying? One last thing, on shout out to Leah. If you guys remember Leah, like I said, I was on a Leah binge the other day, and I'm just like, yo, young kids nowadays will never realize how big a Leah really was. Facts though. Like, she was lit up right before she died. Yeah. In Leah. movies. Doing her thing. Yeah, she was doing it big still. Roman big was number dying. one songs and shit. Like she's on top of her game still. It was like the DMX thing that I said. That so last it time. was like almost like like Troy Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like at the top of like at the prime of her game when they died. You know what I mean? That's Fucking crazy. crazy. But yeah, yo, that's that's all we got for today. You know, kick it with Kilo and Q. Like, Shout out to all our guys. niggas there watching with us, y'all. We appreciate y'all. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Look for feedback. You already know. So, like we do, we'll be back next week. Go listen to the pod or watch the video on YouTube. You already know. So I actually can, do both. Where did they follow you, Q? They follow me on Twitter, Southside Wave. You know what I'm saying? You find me there. All right, and where can they follow you? Me, I really kill. You know, I put this shit right there. 
You know what it is. We're just seeing you on the kicking with Q. Follow it, the page at kicking. Right. With Q. You follow y'all with Q, kicking uh, Kilo with Q, and um, you got uh, the podcast coming out soon, right? Yup. The SoundCloud link will be on the kicking with Kilo page, kicking with Kilo and Q page. And the video. Yeah, nigga, you trying to keep my name off of this shit? Nah, you know why? On the table, on, dog. On, listen, this is what I mean. You crazy, cuz? On the Instagram, I don't know if I got the and Q shit without adding the A and D and Q. Right? So I just didn't add that. I just left it like that. Like, mm. But on, but when you go there, it says kick your key on Q. So right. relax. Fuck you hate so me. we got the podcast on SoundCloud. We got the YouTube popping. Yeah, we got the about, Instagram popping. We're about to figure out how to get the Spotify podcast for you guys that have Spotify and don't have the sure. SoundCloud. But SoundCloud is let all you guys probably have SoundCloud, so you know, just go yeah, there. I'm on Spotify. To listen to it if you do. Spotify is the way to go, bro. Yeah. No, okay. I mean, I have Spotify too, but we gonna get it on Spotify. Yeah, no way, bro. I already know what it is, and we'll see y'all next week. Yo.